Maya Angelou described John T. Biggers as one of America's most important artists, a deserved compliment considering his world-renowned murals, paintings, and sculptures. John was born in Gastonia in 1924 in a shotgun house his father built. After attending the Lincoln Academy in Kings Mountain, he headed to Hampton University to become a plumber. But an art class taught by Victor Lowenfeld changed that plan. Lowenfeld introduced him to African-American art and a broader perspective on human suffering, using art to speak for all injustice for all people. He also included John's mural, Dying Soldier, in the Museum of Modern Art's landmark 1943 Young Negro Art Exhibition, essentially launching his career. Bigger's 1957 trip to Africa served as another turning point. After the trip, his work showed influence from both his African heritage and American black culture. I have attempted to bring the two together. Biggers went on to help establish Texas Southern University's art department, which he led for 30 years. Throughout his career, his art was praised for poignantly illustrating the black experience in America. Biggers' influence on the art world continues today with exhibits like the Mint Museum's John Biggers Wheels and Wheels and his murals at Winston-Salem State University.